today I want to spend a little bit of time talking with Brennan Dunn. I have a kind of an interesting way that we met. I reached out to Brennan, I don't know, it's been what, three weeks ago? Two or three weeks ago, yeah. And yeah. he wrote me back almost instantaneously, which kind of blew me away. And then we were writing back and forth a little bit and I, he asked where the conference is going to be and I said, Austin. He says, hey, I'm in Austin right now. I was like, what? So eight o'clock the next morning, we were sitting down having a cup of coffee, talking about the conference. <laughs> and he's like, basically, yeah. that that was the first time I was ever in Austin, and the only time I've been there. So, yeah, good timing. It was meant to be exactly. <laughs> so I fell in love with what Brendan had to talk about because I went out and did a little bit of research on what he has going on, and he's really done a fantastic job of helping freelancers make more money. You know, actually increase their hourly, their consulting fee, however you price yourself out, increasing that. And there's a lot of pieces to that, if I understand correctly. There's a, there's a mental piece and the psychological piece for yourself, as well as for the person buying. And, you know, you've sort of figured both of those out. And so I'm super excited about that. Yeah. So, I mean, I, uh, my background is I, I kind of like a lot of new freelancers. I was, I was good at what I did, right? Like, so I was good at building websites and I went out on my own and, um, you know, didn't really know how to charge, didn't really know, like, what I I, I was, to be honest, I was more excited about actually getting people to pay me <laughs> than I was, like, worried about, like, what I was charging. But then I grew an agency, and I started to really need to understand about cash flow and pricing and, like, you yeah. know, overhead and everything else. So I started to do a lot of research both on how people respond to price, both, um, you know, when it comes to, like, why people buy, why they don't buy psychologically how do people respond to like certain offers and and you know i was able to with this agency i was able to experiment like with how i would uh qualify a new client or how i would propose a project to them and um yeah you know over time i, I learned a lot about kind of why people buy and why they don't buy and um that's kind of my passion now is helping people who are like me who are like you know they they pick a price out of thin air and say, well, this is what I made. It's a salary to whatever, so I'll charge this. Or they use yeah. one of those, you know, god-awful freelance calculators to come up with. You know, <laughs> I'm not so. sure I've ever even seen one of those, but I'll take oh, they your exist. word for it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so my first question is, um, if you could give me just your number one top takeaway that you feel like the audience will walk away with from your session, what would you say that is? Um, it'll definitely be on how to understand the value that you create for your clients. So how to quantify, you know, what it is you do for them and what that means for their business, because that will allow you both to kind of, you know, the thing is there's the external factors, which is, you know, somebody wants to make sure that if they're going to buy something and they're going to pay premium that they get what they're paying for. But on top of that, there's also kind of like an internal issue where a lot of people will, you know, fall prey to, you know, imposter syndrome and say, well, I'm not really, uh, I'm not worth that. Uh, like that's, you know, I, 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 how do I justify that? And that's what I'm going to be covering. I'm going to be covering how you can put a number to the value you deliver to your clients and make it so you can not only sell people at that, at that um, higher rate, but also um, internally justify your, your cost increase. Yeah, that's that's what whole you know we were talking about in the beginning the the what goes on inside here as well as what goes on inside over there. Right, right. And then my last question is pretty short and simple. It's why are you excited to come to come and speak at this event? Uh, well, obvious is it's in Austin, and I really like the <laughs> tacos I had there. Um, but but no, I mean I I love I love talking with freelancers. I love helping freelancers. Right now, I've got. A little close to about eighteen thousand freelancers who are on my weekly newsletter, and I just love like hearing from them. And I, I know there's a lot of them, and, and a lot of like the interfacing that I do with freelancers is over email or Skype. And um, I, I just like the idea of getting to hang out in person with um, other freelancers, you know, people starting out, people who are more experienced, and, and everything in between, and just you know hear about what they're up to and and provide value where I can and get input where, where, where it makes sense. So just excited. I, I like the, uh, the, you know, the in-person networking aspect of it. Cool. Well, we're very excited to have you come. I am super excited to hear more about, you know, the entire process that you've figured out because there's not many of us or many of you, because I haven't completely figured it out, um, you know, how to justify inside for yourself. Because if I understand correctly, once you justify inside to yourself what your fee is, 
it is super easy to get the person on the other side of the table to understand that. And I think that's the biggest piece that people struggle with. So most of us, when we, when we price something, we'll say like, this is my rate. And we, we provide, like we tell them what we're going to do. We don't tell them why we're going to do it. And once you understand like why there's a project even on the table, why somebody's willing to spend money on this, and you speak to that and you understand that better, you're able to then both increase your price, but also feel okay with doing that because you understand the value that you're bringing to your client. So uh, yeah, that's what we'll be talking about during the, uh, during the session. Well, fantastic. Well, we will see you on October 28th. And for you, those of you out there watching, if you do not have your ticket yet, go to freelanceconference.com and grab your ticket and come see Brennan and everybody else. We'll see you next month. Thank you, Emily. Thanks. Bye.